the next thing we are going to do is to create our uh, earthwork cut and fill report for this corridor how much cut and fill will be required in this corridor in this road uh, for that we will be using our uh, two surfaces to uh, calculate both on the cut and fill like our finished road surface and original ground surface the finished ground level uh, surface is the top of the carriageway which shows over here if we change the edit section style we say this is red apply ok click this I will select all select similar sections and I will bring to front you can see the red cross section is the, the red line is above the road now we need to create the cut and fill quantities according to our bottom of road uh, uh, formation for that we need to create another surface from corridor uh, and we will go to corridor right click okay click the corridor right click corridor properties I will go to surfaces I'll create a new surface and uh, I will name it to road name road one formation formation means the base of the road where we will ex make excavation and the base of the road will be prepared at this point uh, in here the codes that we will be using are pave datum subbase sidewalk daylight fill daylight cut and add all of these as break lines for our feature uh, for our surface now notice that in this surface we will be using our bottom links instead of top links I'll hit apply and from boundaries I will set corridor extend as boundaries for road one formation surface as well apply ok now there is another surface that we have already created let's go ahead and see how it looks like select it object view and uh, we will go here and see how our formation looks like this will be the formation of road let's go and see how the both of the surfaces looks like object viewer object viewer I have selected both of the surfaces at once now at the start we can see this line shows the top surface and this line shows our bottom surface you can see how the top looks like smooth and the bottom has different curve uh, different elevations let's close it and uh, i will say select the feature uh, select the sample line sample more sources select sample line and add this road one road one formation now as we have two only so we need to create another uh, section style I'll click this one copy current selection and uh, I will say this is 
road formation from display tab I will select section segment and points I will change this to magenta okay and uh, line type I will keep as it is I will change the line weight to 35 apply okay 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 and here we have original ground is existing ground road one is uh, which is finished ground level and road one formation is the formation le uh, level i will apply okay you can see here now the another cross section is also shown in our section select similar and bring to front now if you don't want to show this road corridor in our cross sections let's switch it off sample more sources select sample line and i'll remove this and i don't want to show the finished ground level or let's see how it looks like okay now look in here you can see the finished road surface profile and formation surface profile and original ground surface profile now let's go ahead and calculate the cut and fill volume of these surfaces uh, as per our corridor from we will go to analyze tab volumes dashboard and uh, create a new surface create tin volume surface surface we say OGL to formation earthwork this will also actually create a new surface which will be volume surface the base surface that we will be using is our original ground surface and the comparison surface will be our formation surface okay okay and this is the volume that we get when we are going to use this uh, design for our road click here and you can paste it over here as a text it shows that in this road we have a uh, net volume net cut volume of 679.35 cubic meter uh, there are more features that we can add we can modify the bands of this uh, section we can add a lot of more functionalities in civil 3d that we will cover in our upcoming videos just stay tuned and uh, ask your uh, queries or uh, if you have any comments in our comments section we'll be adding a lot of more information regarding this uh, civil 3d module uh, so stay tuned and best of luck support files will be available in our description uh, thanks for watching